Hi, my name is Mike Downey. I'm fighting Dean Bradley. Uh, training's been going really well, just as usual. Uh, I hope to win my knockout. I know he's good on the ground, so we try to keep it standing. And uh, that's about it. Uh, my name is Dean Bradley. I'm fighting Mike Downey. Uh, training this week and last couple of weeks mainly consisted of uh, weight cutting, but uh, it went pretty good. Uh, the fight I think is going to go my way to submission, uh, either an armbar or Kimura is what I'm hoping for. Um, that's about it. Fighting two more. Uh, I've been fighting for five years now. I think the fight's going to go towards my favor. It don't matter. If it ends up on the ground, I'll submit him or tap him out. Whatever. Joe Morris made it up to the lightweight division. I'm uh, fighting Rick Glenn. I'm hoping for a knockout or rough stoppage, a submission, or take the fight wherever it'll go. Um, I know he's got decent stand up, and um, I know he's lost his first pro fight. I lost my first pro fight. We're both looking for a win, and uh, hope to come out with the win. Around in Canada, uh, training was great for this fight with a lot of my wrestling, ground pound control, and my uh, stand up. Um, I think the fight's going to be a fast. It's going to be a fast fight the whole time. We're going to be scrambling, just at each other's throats. But I think I can pull off the choke in the first round pretty easily if I get him in the ground. It's going to be a fun fight, but I think I'm going to come off with the win. Day Day, ready for this fight, fighting Josh Henry. Ready to make this fight go as quick as I can, you know, hopefully in the first round. You know, my training went well. I've been working on my stand up, working on my grind game as much conditioning as, as strong as I can. I know he's been conditioned. So just ready to get this started and make it happen. I'm Felter. I'll be fighting Cassie Rodish. My training's gone really well for this fight, training both in Iowa City and a little bit at Des Moines MMA. And really looking forward to just showing what I can do. Hi, my name is Cassie Rodish. I am getting ready to fight Katie Kleinfelter. Um, the past six weeks I've been doing strength, strength training and tie and jits. Three, four hours a day in the gym. Going really, really hard on my cardio, working on my kicks. Um, I really, really feel like um, when we get in the ring I'll be able to pick her apart with my kicks, take her down, hopefully for a rough stoppage. Uh, it went good. Uh, I've been sparring a lot with Drew and Federies, Deeds. Uh, Worked with uh, Team Gracie, Jeff Neal out of Chicago. It's coming to uh, Honestly, I'm just looking to have fun. Well, however it goes, you know, I'm looking to go for a win, obviously. We both are. We work hard for it. We both cut the weight, so let's go to war. I'm Andy Branson fighting Jason Lau. Uh, training for the fight were really good. Uh, it's the first time cutting down to 170. Spent about three weeks getting the weight off. Had a real good camp. Uh, Smart strength got me in good shape. And, uh, this is the first camp in Des Moines MMA. Um, it was a real nice meal to work out with cousin and everybody down there. Uh, it should be a good fight. I've heard Jason likes to stand up a lot, which I'm looking forward to. And he seems like he's a tough kid. So hopefully we get a good fight for everybody to watch. Get another fight of the year. So. Paul Bird, I'm fighting Alonzo Martinez. The training's going, gone great. I'm really happy and excited for this fight. It's going to be a great fight for the fans, and it's going to be one that I'm going to definitely win. Alonzo Martinez uh, from Omaha, Nebraska. I'll be fighting Paul Bird. Uh, the training has been going real well. Uh, I've been training here for a couple months. Not for this fight, for other fights I got pushed back or canceled. So I'll be training. You know, I got called up. Last last couple of weeks to come fight for Paul Bird and uh, Johnny Jump on And uh, my prediction for the fight, I'm not going to try to take it to the judges' scorecard, so I'm going to try to finish it. Fight CJ O'Brien tomorrow. Training camp went well. Uh, got a lot of wrestling in, a lot of stand up work, a lot of live sparring, some vicious sparring sessions actually. Um, I'm ready to go. I have two friends fighting on this card, so I had two, two teammates pushing me. Got the sedative. Um, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Hey, it's TJ the Spider O'Brien. I'm fighting Jake Brown. I think I'm going to beat his ass. Um, probably end of the first round, early second. Trade's been going good. Had a nine pound weight cut today, but it went off. came off real good. Hey, hey, can you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, what up?
<laughs> Standing six feet tall, weighing at 170 pounds, Jennifer Andy, Danger Zone, Branson. <laughs> Here's a, as a replacement for Mickle. Coming in, you got plenty of time to, to watch over the guy Bird here. What are you coming into expecting? Uh, he's going to bring his A game, so I'm going to bring my A game, and uh, we'll see if I'm on top. Now, for those of you, for those of the people here that have not got to see you fight in, or in, at any time, uh, some of us have, I mean, for, from way back in the day, and watching you come up through the ranks, what are you coming to bring tomorrow? I'm going to bring a show, so I'll bring your popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, how you doing, brother? I'm doing good. All right. You got the replacement here. You got it so Diddy. Uh, you were supposed to fight Mickle. Does that bother you at all that it, you got a replacement like Zo Diddy? No, 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 no. Actually, I wanted to fight him more than I wanted to fight Mickle anyway, so it's just, uh, it just all came together, so I'm happy about it. You're the man he's planning on bringing the show. He knows that, that you're going to be coming with your A game. Are you expecting pretty much the same out of him? Yeah, definitely. I, I know he's a great fighter, and uh, I'm just really excited. What do you, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Uh, the fireworks, definitely. We're both exciting fighters, and uh, I know we're going to be swinging. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a good time. 55 pounds, get over TJ, the spider, O'Brien! <laughs> Push you like that. <laughs> All right, what's your prediction for tomorrow? It's gonna be a great fight, real high pace. Um, I'm looking to land some big strikes. I guess the ground, submission, I don't care, anything. Saw so you coming up the, up the stairs here, and it looked like you had a little determination on your face. What are you thinking, bro? I'm ready to go, feel good, great weight cut, great camp, <clears throat> great piece of mass. You're awful antsy, you look like you could go right now. Fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's expecting fireworks tomorrow. You pretty much thinking the same thing? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come out and give fans what they want to see. Um, get in a bad spot, I might take him down. I'd like to bang with him. I know he likes to throw, so we'll put on a good show. What's your prediction for tomorrow? Uh, early first, early second, or late first, early second. That's what I've been telling everybody. I'm gonna stick to it.